Greetings, YouTube. Hey, remember this thing? The Six Star Nexus 2020 bundle? Remember this? This thing? Well, uh, this is coming to us from the Boss 81 I promised this guy I would commentate this last night over the broadcast, but we had so much to open, including a week's worth of Wallet Breaker Daily Crystals, and um, we'll call it Kabam's Revenge after awakening my six-star Stark Spidey as part of the bonus side quest Cavalier Crystal Shards. That, um, yeah, I didn't have time to commentate this. So, buddy, if you're watching this, I moved you up to the top of the list. Uh, he didn't say, unlike a lot of the submissions I've, I've received that I haven't yet gotten to, and unlike the last one, who was in search of Cosmic Ghost Rider for two plus years and didn't get him in this. I don't know who he's hunting. I just know he had, like so many people, a variety of options to uh, potentially get excited about. So uh, I still think the best part of this value is the rank one to rank two rank up gem because if you're only getting this for one champion, even with the 10 champions there, uh, there's, what, like 24 champions, so you have less than 50% chance of getting that specific champion. But the generic rank 1 to rank 2 rank up gem is guaranteed for all classes, and we love guaranteed values on this channel. Okay, so let's see what we would do if this was us. I don't know who he has. It always helps to see rosters, but he didn't do that. So let's uh, see who's new, who's awakened, who's already been grabbed. Uh, okay. Okay. I haven't seen Apocalypse pop up on this yet. Spider-Ham Nova. Apocalypse is right there. Boom. That's all that matters. And Immortal Abo- Oh my gosh. Look at those last two quadrants. Apocalypse versus Immortal Abomination. Now just to be clear, I'm not saying this is a tough call for most people. Apocalypse is the number one mutant champion. Immortal Abomination uh, from the poll I took from subs, you know, destined to change every couple months. Immortal Abomination is the number two science Apocalypse is the number one mutant. Apocalypse came in at the number three overall champions in the tier list. And Immortal Abomination came in at number 15. So, um, I think it's fairly obvious you got to go Apocalypse. But just the chance to have these two head-to-head -head in a uh, crystal opening is fascinating to me. And yes... I am a nerd. I get fascinated. Deal with it. Um, you know, it's interesting. Also, personally, I use Immortal Abomination more than Apocalypse now. I know that's going to make people shocked, but that's um, the reality of, of my roster. And I've got a rank three six-star Apocalypse Awaken. I just use Immortal Abomination more. So he's going back and forth, but again, I don't think there's really a debate in the end. Uh, that is what the majority of the community would. I would. I would be curious if anybody in the comment section of this video would choose a moral abomination over apocalypse. I don't think there would be many brave people to say yes, but maybe you're out there. Maybe you are. Well, even though I would have preferred to see his roster and see his needs, he saved us from having this video come to even have a chance for five minutes. And look, I don't know if you know this about YouTube, but... They, in the last year, they literally say whenever you post a video, uh, ads or in, in video ads can only be inserted with videos that are at least eight minutes long. And when I read that, I changed nothing about my channel. 90% of my videos still go under eight minutes. 97, 98% of my videos still go under 10 minutes. Because to me, it's not worth it making a little bit more revenue to make you have to sit through a double the length of a video. So, the Boss 81, all that's to say, thank you for keeping this under five minutes. I think 5,000 units for Apocalypse is a really good offer. What do you think, YouTube? Would you do 5,000 units for Apocalypse, or would you be brave enough to choose a Moral Abomination over Apocalypse? I doubt many would, but I'll be curious what the comments say. The Boss 81, sorry for the delay, but thanks for the submission. Hope you enjoy this commentary.